Hi guys, um, this is a short video uh, going over uh, reconditioning the hybrid Prius uh, battery Gen 2, Generation 2. Um, trying to go over some things, give some notes. Hopefully, this will be helpful to others. Um, so, after you take out the battery from uh, the car and put it on the table it was recommended in some other videos that uh, you do a full charge and discharge for every cell um, so as you can see here I started with this second plug right here and it goes to that power supply I'll put the part number for that power supply on the description. It's an HP uh, power supply that provides 12 volts. And then the output from that will go to that Ternigy charger. As you see, there is like four ports. So each port can output voltage to connect to four different cells so I mean four ports each port will will charge a cell so four ports total four cells maximum that you can charge the second thing is uh, all the cells need to be in place like that because when you are charging uh, the cells will get hot so to protect the cells from bulging you keep them in place as shown um, the second thing is as you can see I labeled all the cells as you know we have 28 cells total but each two cells make a block so it starts from here that this is like the first two cells are for block number one so I labeled them 1-1 1-2 then after that 2-1 2-2 all the way to 14-1 and 14-2 one note here about this power supply the output you see here like that red colored wire and the black colored wire I had to get those insulated spades in order to plug it to the blades at the power supply. There are like, you see those two cover blades that are shown. Actually, there are like four on the right side and four on the left side, or maybe three and three. But you can plug to any of them. The right side will give you 12 volt positive, the left side will give you uh, zero volt <laughs> There was a trick about that power supply that When you take it out of the box and plug it to the 120 volt It doesn't really give you 12 volt. I had to do some reading and You really need to trick that power supply in order to give you uh, The 12 volt how you do that you see all these wires here I had to use several, several type cables, there are like 12 pins and you need to short some pins together in order to trick that power supply to provide the 12 volt needed. I just went through programming this Ternigy charger to automatically charge and discharge um, every cell. I did like three cycles programmed to charge and discharge up to three times and as you see the voltage here is 8.77 however when I requested the charge I put 7.4 but maybe when it's charging it actually puts out more because maybe there is some resistance to those cells that's why it's just putting more to get down to the 7.4 that is needed and notice that 
the amperage here is 4.9 uh, I programmed all the amperage to 5 ampere on the discharge and the re-peak but for the discharge I uh, programmed it to 3 ampere and 6 volt so it will charge up to 7.4 but it will discharge to 6 volt and the amperage during charge is 5 ampere but during discharge it's 3 amperes um, so it's high voltage please be careful uh, one more note to say here uh, although I removed all the connections between the cells be careful because if you uh, touch two cells next to each other you will get a spark because there is still some charge in those cells even though I disconnected all the connectors that were connecting each two blocks together um, another note here this ECU module um, which actually monitors all the voltage and temperature and all of that I had an issue with that before and when I took the car for a drive I was like when I start the car I hear a lot of clicking noises and doing some readings see this like uh, black relays I'll point to it like this one and there is two more here uh, so this two right here this one and this one and this one so uh, the error code was pointing that probably one or more of those black relays are stuck in the closed position I could have bought the relays by themselves but I just thought just you know I'll get the whole module it's cheaper this way in case I need to replace the ECU because I was not sure if the ECU was bad or the relays were bad um, I'll make another video later after everything is done but this is it for now. I hope that helped.